For Thursdays, it's always very artsy, and today we have a very, very special person here with us. And for art display, we have Abadia Ka Sheriff Dean. He's a visual artist who is also into performance art, textile design, and mixed media. Now, I have with us here some of his artwork, which I'll be showing to you. But first, let's meet the man himself, Sheriff Dean. You are welcome. Good to have you Thank here. Thank you, sir. Now, your art is very different from anybody's art that I've had on the show here before, because your art is uh, uniquely done with ink. Yes. And I find this very interesting. Let me show a piece here. Now, what you can see on cardboard this time is actually ink. We've got a number of them which we'll be showing to you in just a minute. But let me first ask you, Sheriff Dean, what, what would you define your art as? What would you call it? What kind of art is it? Thank you for giving me this opportunity. This art is all about expressing my feelings. Mm -hmm. I, I'm the type that love expressing anything I see around me. Mm -hmm because of the environment I base mm. on. Like where I stay now, I'm using this art piece mm. to depict where I stay before, mm. the way they relate with each other. And once there is anything like riot, they will call each other to attention mm. that run away from people that are coming now. They are here to arrest you wow. or to kidnap you. That's very interesting. So that's why If I the camera can see piece. that, that's a boy who's actually yes, running away into the to call shanty. Others run or go inside, just lock your door. Mm -hmm. That is a ghetto place. Mm. That's where I stayed before. So well, I use that. It's very interesting now because like I said from before, it's ink. So do you actually pencil it out first before you start using the ink or do you just visualize it and just start no. putting ink on paper? I, the only thing I do is just to imagine and uh -huh. get some pictures of environment that I want to use, then mm -hmm. add my own creativity to it. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I do. Talking about that environment, like this one that I displayed from earlier, these are calabash yeah. and also I think uh, some uh, beads on there as well. How long does it take you to put something like this together? At least a week. A week? Yes. Okay, that's very interesting. And that's not the only one. The cultural nature of your art is very, very expressive, as can be seen on this one again. Now, there are certain signs on there. What are these signs exactly, and uh, why did you choose to use them in this art piece? Yes, I'm trying to let people know that I'm an African man. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm using this African motif to depict Africa. Mm -hmm. And the instrument there depicts what different human being is. Oh, that's the shakere, isn't yes. it? Yes. Oh, I get it. If you look at that shaker, you will see that there is a bid on it to yes. show that this person is a royal person. Mm -hmm. That is mm -hmm. what I'm trying to depict there. And there is no how they are going to do what we call coronation. Mm -hmm. There will be what we call drum yeah. and different... Dance, things. music and culture. Yes. That, that, that tells a lot. That tells, how do people embrace your work? When they see it, what's the first thing that comes to their mind? Well... Like different people that I've met concerning my art piece, they do tell me to move on with it, mm -hmm. that my style is unique. Mm -hmm. Because aside from this, I say, like I said, I'm into mixed media arts. Mm -hmm. Anything I see around me, that's what I used to depict my work. Okay. Like trashes. Oh, okay. I have what you call, um, what is it called? Granite shell, mm -hmm. snake shell. Mm -hmm. That's what I used to depict. Mm -hmm. Okay. My own art. So you're not limited to cardboard. Yes. Do you also do uh, art on canvas as yes, well and sir. paint? Yes. Okay. Now let's take a look at that one, which I can tell already that is makuku. Am I correct? Yes. Is that makuku? Let me have that now. Now taking a look at I think this is my best piece here. It's uh, the boats, the little uh, makeshift houses on top of water. Did you have to go to this environment to be able to visualize and put on a well, pen to I cardboard? A, I have a brother. Mm -hmm. that have this picture. So anytime I see it, when I was learning from him, because I do study what he paints mm -hmm. on canvas, so I now use that idea to bring out my own concepts. Mm. Oh, that is very beautiful. Let's talk about um, people, uh, the appreciation people have for your paintings. Do you sell them? Yes. And how much could a painting like this uh, go for? Or an artwork, let me call it an artwork, since it's not really a painting, it's actually ink. How much do, you, do, you, do they go for? Some are like 150, why some are 120 wow. upward. Wow, that's, that's good money. For a week of work, I think, yeah, I'd, I'd do that. <laughs> now, this one's got plenty of meaning, and I'm going to let you define exactly what it means. Yes. I can see you shaking your head in satisfaction of, of me recognizing that. So let's take a look at this one. Three faces, the one in the middle, 
uh, there's tears running down uh, that face, and the other two are you know, smiling. It's kind of like smiling and suffering for me. Yes. That's Am I correct? Too. Very expressive, isn't it? Smiling and suffering. I got it right off the bat. I had not been told what it was called, honestly. But talk us through this. The reason why I titled this work Smi um, Suffering and Smiling Sm is suffering because and of one great artist, a musician. Mm. That is our legend, mm. Mr. Fela. Yes, indeed. I use his own title of his music to depict this. Mm. So anytime I listen to that, suffering and smiling, it gives me joy to, the, uh, to express myself. Mm. Because if you look at a child, once you give birth to a child, he's going to cry. He or yeah. she will cry. Mm -hmm. That one is sure. And once he started growing up gradually, he will start playing with his colleague or her colleagues. Mm -hmm. So that's the second one. That's and one before there. you know it, it will get to this old man. Yeah, I can see that with the moustache and the beard. And he will be smiling or still thinking of how to achieve more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why I type That's it. beautiful. So how do you push your art? Where do you do exhibitions? Do you use social media? What's your means of propagating what you do? Well, I do exhibit my work either online, that social media, or a group exhibition. Mm -hmm. Like the one I'm having very soon. I'm the one that do organize some mm -hmm. exhibition. And I have some group of Mm. Exhibition too, mm -hmm. like SNA. We okay. do October okay. rain, mm. so I do join them for that, and other ones like that. Of recent, I did one with collaboration. Okay, that's last year. Mm. So I'm sure this one was a was a signature for your. Uh, I have another separate work for collaboration. Oh, that's grand, man. Fantastic artwork, fantastic pieces here, fantastic personality. And I do look forward to seeing more of this and also perhaps maybe coming for some lessons myself. Sheriff Dean, you are a, uh, an ex uh, exceptional artist and I hope to see more of your work and also would like to see them here on Wake Up Nigeria. Thank you for coming through. Thank you, sir. Do stay tuned. We've got more coming your way inside of Wake Up Nigeria for a Thursday edition. We'll be right back.